Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So let's take a look at my biological age, 60 months in to my longevity experiment. That's the five year point. Uh, and we're going to use the blood test I had taken in June of 2024. Let's look at the supplements I was taking when I had this blood test done. First of all, nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN, 1.5 grams per day. Trans resveratrol, 1.5 grams a day. I only take that now on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Trimethylglycine, TMG, 1.5 grams a day. Metformin, 1,000 milligrams, 500 in the morning and 500 at night. Vitamin D3, 5,000 international units per day, 10,000 on a Monday and a Wednesday. Vitamin K2, 120 micrograms per day, and that's the MK7 version. Magnesium, 250 milligrams a day, and that's the L3 and 8 version. High molecular weight hyaluronic acid, I take 200, sorry, 400 milligrams per day now. Fisidin, 2.4 grams per day on the first, second, and third of each month only. Cursetin, the same, 2.4 grams a day on the first, second, and third of each month. And if you want to know why I take it in this periodic dosing protocol and not every day, there's a link in the description below that uh, there's a video that explains that to you. Baby aspirin, 81 milligrams a day. Cert 6 activator, 800 milligrams per day. DIM, 600 milligrams per day. Glycine and NAC, Glynac, 800 milligrams a day. And creatine, five grams per day, one month on, and then two months off. So here we are on the website, longevityadvantage.com, and there's a link in the description below to this particular website. To use this, obviously you take your blood test, you scroll down then to the bottom of the page. You can see here, they've now got 10 elements that they want you to fill in. There used to be nine, there's now 10. You fill those in, scroll down once they're done and press next step. Next step will then ask you for your email address and your name. And within about two minutes, they will send you uh, your results, which is which is pretty good. Now, the last time I did this um, earlier in the year was February of 2024. You can see the results I got here. My chronological age then was 59. My phenotypic age was 55.90, and I'll throw up the definition of phenotypic age for you. My phenotypic age then versus my chronological age or my birthday age was minus 3.10, so just over three years younger. My DNA methylation age, you can see, is 54.99, so 55 years. My DNA methylation age versus my chronological or my birth age it was minus 4.01, so four years, a reduction in really just over four years in age. So I had the test taken again. The last one was in June of 2024 um, when I was 60. So you can see here chronological age 60 because uh, I was 60 in April. My phenotypic age is now 53.70. My phenotypic age versus my chronological has gone down quite a lot to minus 6.30. So around six and a quarter years younger. DNA methylation age this time 52.89. And my DNA methylation age versus my chronological age, my birthday age, is now minus 7.11. So a reduction in age of just over seven years this time. So that's it for longevityadvantage.com. So I think all in all, a good result. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So since February of uh, 2024, I've now dropped my biological age down to 52.89. So now that I'm 60, that makes me just over seven years younger. So that gives me a biological age, although I'm 60, of 53, which I think is, is pretty good. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's now move on to biologicalage.com. Now I show this so that even if you can't get a blood test, there is a way of gauging your epigenetic age using this questionnaire. And again, there's a link in the description below to this particular website. Now, since I've used this site, which is quite a long time ago for the first time, it's been updated quite a lot. Far more questions now um, on a range of different lifestyle factors. So in February of 2024, when I was 59 and nine months, you can see here, it said I was 49, so 10 years younger. Um, good, not as accurate as a blood test, but definitely better than nothing at all, or you just guessing what your epigenetic age is. I took this test again on the 1st of June when I was 60 and two months old. This time it read 49, so 12 years younger, which is an improvement, that's great. Uh, as I said, not as accurate as the blood test test, 
but better than just trying to guess. So I'm three months older than the last questionnaire. My biological age has decreased by one year. So that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, they also give you a couple of very genetic statements. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I agree with this. My breakfast on my intermittent fasting days is about noon, one, two o'clock in the afternoon. And on OMAD days, it's 5 p.m. They're talking about eating breakfast cereal and breakfast is the most important meal of the day, not based in science, is actually the motto of a cereal company that just wants you to buy the highly refined sugar laden snack breakfast meal. Uh, it says eating at least five servings of fruit and vegetables a day uh, is a good idea. Again, in the past, yes, but this seems to be debunked a number of times recently. Highly refined and deep fat foods are a sometimes treat and should only be eaten occasionally. Couldn't agree more. 100% behind that. And it says do push-ups every day. Again, not bad advice. If you can't do push-ups, do air squats. If you can't do those, do something to get yourself off your backside. So that's it for biologicalage.com. That's all well and good. Let's do a quick summary. So at the time of this latest test, my chronological age, my birthday age was 60 years and two months. Longevity advantage had my DNA methylation age or my biological age at 52.89. That's just over seven years younger, which is good. The less accurate biologicalage.com questionnaire had me at 48, which is 12 years younger. I think we can all agree that the specific DNA methylation test, the Horvath clock type, is more accurate. However, be aware, I would avoid companies like epiage.com who test only against less than 20 markers and, and take the time to look for companies that test against hundreds of thousands of markers to look for a far more accurate and a far more cost-effective option. So let's take a look at my overall progress. You can see here the table on the left records all the data going back to January of 2021. This then spits out this table. The blue line at the top is my birthdays. So obviously, as my birthdays roll on, this line is going to gradually increase. The red line at the bottom shows my epigenetic or my biological age. This is the pattern I'm looking for with my birthday at the top. Here is 61. And presently, my biological age is down 52 53 years old. Uh, this is an example of the incorrect test or bad test where your um, birthday in blue here is maybe 61, but your age, biological age, your, the age your body is, is higher. So like 65 or 70. This is the reverse of healthy aging. Um, if you do want to buy one of these biological age tests to check your DNA methylation age, uh, of the big three, Pro Health Longevity, Do Not Age, and Renew by Science, both Pro Health Longevity and Do Not Age carry them. And if you do choose to buy from one of these companies, please feel free to use the code MYNMN to get between 10 and 15% off. And there are links in the description below to the specific tests. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, if you've had a blood test done recently, then stick the results into longevityadvantage.com. You've got nothing to lose. If you haven't and you're not going to get one done in the near future, then maybe have a look at biologicalage.com. Use the questionnaire. Uh, be honest with the answers. Some of them are a bit strange. Uh, the alcohol one, for example, it'll ask you how much do you drink? Is it zero a day, one drink a day, two drinks a day, etc.? Uh, I don't drink every day, so I could write zero and that would knock my age down. I drink two or three in the whole week. So what I do is I say one a day, which equates to seven, when actually I only drink two or three. So my biological age there could be lower but I'm quite happy to go with what I've got there. Um, so the, the DNA methylation age has got me now at 53 when I'm 60, so I'm seven years young. I think that's quite good. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, if you've used Longevity Advantage or even biologicalage.com, let me know in the comments below what your biological age actually is. 